Hi friends and welcome back to another episode of Act to Kids mm -hmm. where we invest in your future. Whose future? Your future. Whose future? future? Your future. And, and we, we are being <laughs> and we are niece and nephew. nephew. I'm the nephew. And I'm the niece, Jamie Lee Loss. And Jeannie Dierhart. So in today's episode, we'll be focusing on St. Patrick's Day. Because that is today. And it is and a leprechaun is it's a, a mythical, mythical creature. And that's our theme for this week. And Zoe and Zaki, they'll tell us more. They will definitely. So if you guys want to be plugged, like we plug you every single day on Active Kids, you know the then stay tuned for Zoe and Zaki. But before that, we have to do what? We have to tell our friends where they can find Active Kids. Do you guys know where you can find us? I doubt. So you guys can find us every day of the week at 9 a.m. on our Zoshi and Active Kids My Zone Facebook pages, as well as on DSTV channel 285 and Go TV channel 94. Where do we get these nice bean bags? We got them from Innovations, yo. So if you want to be innovative with your party, then contact innovations at info at kickstartnam.com. She's the plug. I'm the plug. And she's the plug. Sheesh. And we <laughs> bring the energy because we're plugs. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys. But before we, you know, get beside us of excitement, let us sing a song. I want to sing a St. Patrick song. You want to sing a St. Patrick song? Okay, okay, okay. Are we going to do it? Okay. And a one, and a two, and a one, two, three. There, there is a color I, I can say that represents St. Patrick's Day. G-R-E-E-N, G-R-E-E-N. There is a... It's three times green, G-R-E-E-N. You didn't tell me. Okay, guys, friends, now you know. Don't, don't act like them. You guys, didn't you must, tell you me. You shouldn't be like Ginny. You should be patient with your friends and patience. teach them. Patience. My name is not Patience. So I have no <laughs> patience. Okay, let's okay. do it. And a one, and a two, and a one, two, three. There is a color I can say that represents St. Patrick's Day. G-R-E-E-N, G-R-E-E-N, G-R-E-E-N. And green is that color. There is a color I can say that represents St. Patrick's Day. G-R-E-E-N, G-R-E-E-N, G-R-E-E-N. And green is that color. Now the other one. So guys, the trick comes in here. Where you don't say the some letters and we just snap. Okay. So then I will say R E E N R E E N. Okay, so this represents the G. Yeah. Cool. Guys, I want you guys to do it. And then we're going to do it with the whole, the whole letter, the whole word. At so the then we're going to say E N E N E N. Okay. E -N and green is that color? Okay. Can you do it? So. Friends, can you do it? Yes, you can. Let's do it. <laughs> there is a color I, I can say that represents St. Patrick's Day. R E E N. R E E N, R E E N, and green is that color. There is a color I can say that represents St. Patrick's Day. E N, E N, E N, and green is that color. There is a color I can say that represents St. Patrick's Day. E, no N. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's start over. There, there is a color I can say that represents St. Patrick's Day. N, N. N and green is that color. There is a color I can say that represents St. Patrick's Day. She <laughs> <laughs> didn't think uh, this through. I did. I did. Okay, let's let's just and start last there. Time. Okay. okay, okay. Last one wow. where we have to snap through the whole okay. part. Okay. One, two, three. There is a color I can say that represents St. Patrick's Day. And green is that <laughs> color? <laughs> Guys, it was so much fun. It was so much fun. Wow, Ginny is so great. But now let's head on over to Arts, Arts and, and Crafts. crafts.
Hi guys, and it's Jamie here at the Arts and Crafts. I'm super excited because you guys know what today's theme is. It's St. Patrick's Day and all things green and leprechaun. So in today's edition of Arts and Crafts, we are going to be drawing the, the, the plant that basically represents St. Patrick's Day, which is a clover, but is known between the Irish people as shamrock. And basically what we're going to do is we're just going to draw this plant but in several different colors just to make it fun because you know here at Active Kids we are never boring. So as you guys know with me we always start with the outline. I want to first make a really big one. We always start with the outline of this pretty 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 plant or yeah whatever it is and then we do the outline hold on guys i hope you are also doing it at your houses don't let me do it alone please i hope i'm not doing it alone okay i just want to color mine in a bit but i want to first make my outline a bit darker a bit darker so you guys can use highlighters you can use crayons you can use pencils you can use color pencils it's really all up to you because you know when it comes to arts and crafts it's all about um being creative and trying something new and being different we don't have to do the same thing as long as we have maybe a similar idea so we're really just trying to make this outline as big as we can as possible i feel like i still have to come here and make this one thick too because it needs to look like the other side i really really love these crayons guys they are so 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 pretty okay so we're gonna go so what we're gonna be doing is sort of a a rainbow type of vibe because you know that um, leprechauns get gold at the end of the rainbow so that is the whole idea behind us um, being in the rainbow ideology cool so you just make the outline thicker 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 that's all we're gonna be focusing on for now but remember we're also on a time limit so we need to be as fast as possible let's pretend we are like in a period of like let's say math and it's only 15 minutes so we need to get this done otherwise we get a zero you know so we need to be as fast as possible cool so now we're doing the almost we're almost done with this outline of the light green I'm already loving this. I'm loving it so, so, so much. Okay. Now we're going to go on here. Almost done. Ugh, guys, I just love these crayons. And I just love coloring in. And I just love active kids. And all my active friends on here. That are doing this activity with me. Remember to catch us every day of the week from at nine o'clock nine o'clock tell your mommy and daddy mommy i want to watch active kids now okay so basically we're just going to do like a rainbow type of vibe i don't know you guys will see as i go i don't know what color to start with let me look for some yellow here just looking for some yellow oh here's purple i want yellow guys Usually I take out the colors in advance, but this time I didn't think of it. I literally came up with the idea. So I want to start my rainbow with blue for some reason. Don't ask me why. So I'm going to start my, just going to start it like this. So we're just going to color. Remember not to go over the outline, guys. Respect, respect the outlines. So, yeah. Just make it a bit darker these crayons are really the best crayons i've ever used honestly 
okay so we're still coloring in i just want it to be a bit darker make sure that on both sides the blue is at the same level just make sure of that and do not go over the outline now we're going to do a darker blue with this crayon and i love it already i just want to get this sorted out okay now i can continue i like how it doesn't get too dark it's just a nice light shade of dark blue okay just still all the spaces in between make sure that you get that make sure that you get that i can see my light blue is really really light but just sure you guys get what i was trying to go for mm. okay now we color in this side yeah so basically guys it's not that we're drawing a rainbow it's just we are including we're trying to put in all the rainbow colors and give that type of effect but like i said when you're doing arts and crafts everyone has to be very creative and if every individual can do what they want to do as long as we have an idea uh, original idea of what we want to do um cool so now i don't know i think i want purple i want purple because it's sort of also very dark yeah really want this purple here and it should come this side cool now i'm first gonna color on this side since i'm already here now and just guys do not go over the outline it's not gonna look as pretty as it should so stick to the inside of the colors do not go on the outside of them otherwise it takes away the whole the whole you know idea oh i really like this purple guys so nice and dark cool now we're gonna because i don't want to go over this outline i'm going to sort of just make a purple outline so that i can stay within those lines and not go over them and then make my green purple i will be so annoyed if that happens so color here a bit it's tricky to work with crayons because they're so thick okay so now just go over that color in color in color in remember to stick within the lines try your best because i know it's not on purpose crayons are just really big okay cool now we're gonna continue with my personal favorite color and it is pink i love pink okay so we're gonna start on this side and just coloring a bit just a bit but 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 make sure you color the other side too guys and that's your rainbow right there don't forget to write saint patrick's day happy saint patrick's day in the middle happy saint patrick's day and that's it from arts and crafts guys i hope you liked it and you enjoyed it That was so much fun. It was so much fun. Like you drew this leaf that's up here. Imagine. But you know, it's not a clover. It's a shorma. Shorma. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys, you see I'm learning so much from Ginny. Yes, you, but if you're not learning from me, you're learning from Zoe and Zaki. You're learning from all the friends at Active Kids. At the My Zone. But yeah, guys, I really love that art.
Hello, hello, how are you? I'm good, I'm good, I'm great, I'm great, I'm wonderful, hooray! Hello, 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 how are you? I'm good, I'm good, I'm great, I'm great, I'm wonderful, hooray! Hi, friends. I love all of my stunning and gorgeous friends. My name is Zoe and I enjoy getting lost in the wonderful made up world. Hi friends, I miss you guys so much. My name is Zeki and I believe in the wonderful world of make believe. And we, we are, are niece and nephew. nephew. This week, we are learning all about mythical creatures. Mm, but today is a very special day in a far, far away country in Europe. Ooh, I like far away countries. Same here, Zaki, and I especially like learning about all the far away countries as well. But this week, we are learning about mythical creatures. How does this tie in together with the far, far away countries? I'll give you a clue. This mythical animal finds gold at the end of a rainbow. Ooh, I know, I know. Is it a leprechaun? It is indeed a leprechaun, Zeki. And leprechauns are from Ireland. What special day are the Irish celebrating? They are celebrating their Christian holiday, which is St. Patrick's Day. And what happens on St. Patrick's Day? St. Patrick's Day celebrated St. Patrick. He is believed to, to have converted the pagan Irish people into Christians. What does the leprechauns do on St. Pat what do leprechauns do on St. Patrick's Day, Zoe? You know, the leprechaun is oddly enough mostly only celebrated in America. You know what I find interesting about leprechauns is that they are little bearded fairies. But they don't have wings. The original fairies never had wings. That is super uber weird. And in later folklore, leprechauns were known to be shoemakers. Wow. But why, why, why haven't I read much about lepre? What's wrong? You're moving on the mic. Who? Nobody's moving on the mic. Oh, this guy. Oh. Let me move it to the middle. Okay. Where must we start from? Okay. Yeah, I must even pop. Start where? We can start from fairies don't have wings. Okay. okay. But they don't have wings. That is super weird. No. You are reading the... Oh, sorry. But they don't have wings. The original fairies never had any wings. That is super weird. And in later folklore, leprechauns were known to be shoemakers. <gasps> but, but, Zeki, why haven't I read... Uh, a lot about leprechauns in Irish mythology because leprechauns only appeared later what is today what is today known as the Irish folklore but if leprechauns are fairies does does that mean they are also smart and conniving yes that is correct Zoe they are known to be little mischievous creatures but Zeki I heard that leprechauns like pulling pranks like you do. That's why I enjoy them so much. It's really, it really is. But now it's time for us to sing a fun song. Get ready, friends. And a one, and a two, and a one, two, three. Leprechaun, leprechaun, leprechaun dressed in green. The tiniest Wait, person. wait, 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 wait. wait. Yes. You didn't even explain how the song is going to go, okay, Zoe. Okay, friends. So the song is going to be sung in the tune of Incy Wincy Spider climbing up the spot. Oh, 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 oh. Leprechaun, leprechaun dressed in green. The tiniest person that, that I've, I've ever seen. What, what are, are you going, going to, to do with all okay. that gold? Zoe, Zoe, let's start Run over. Run away and hide it, I've been told. Okay. 
Leprechaun. Leprechaun dressed in green, the tiniest person that I've ever seen. What are you going to do with all that gold? Run away and hide it, I've been told. If I was a leprechaun, this is what I'd do. I'd give all my gold to you and, and you and you and you. Sing it wow. again. Leprechaun, leprechaun, dressed in green. The tiniest person that I've ever seen. What are you going to do with all that gold? Run away and hide it, I've been told. If I was a leprechaun, this is what I'd do. I give all my gold to you, to you, and you, and you. Wow. What is our super fun fact today? Did you know that prior to the 20th, 20th century, leprechauns wore red and not green? I would have never ever have guessed that, Zachy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But that is all from us today, friends. We will see you again tomorrow. Bye! Bye. Hi guys and welcome back to the active activity. Did you enjoy Zoe and Zaki? I love so much. And I learned so much about leprechauns <laughs> and <laughs> why are you laughing? I said I loved <laughs> But at least you loved it so yeah, much. I did. Yes, I get it's you. It's okay. Girl. Mm. It's okay. I hope you guys also loved it as <laughs> much as we did and that you learned enough. Did, did you learn something? Yeah, I learned a lot. I didn't know that much about leprechauns and St. Patrick's Day. So. Me neither. I just Me knew it was neither. green. Yeah, that's literally all. You just hear St. Patrick's Day, I just see green. Yeah. See, that's what I have. I don't know if you guys can see, but I have like a green top on. Yes, because it's St. Patrick's Day, girl. Okay. Okay. If you think that's green, that's okay. And we are going to go <laughs> to the end of the rainbow. So, guys, now we're going to start with our active activity. Yes, and we what are. we're going to do is we're going to sing a little song, but we're also going to do some fun movements because, you know, yes. Jeannie and I are very active. Okay. We're active. So, yes. okay. Jeannie, will you lead us? Should I lead us? Please. Okay, cool. So, guys, how this is going to work? It's a very simple song. You guys will pick it up really quickly. So, we're going to start off with. Do your ears point up? Do you have a lot of luck for gold you dig? If you answered yes, you're a leprechaun, I guess. Yay! Yay. So that's very... But you know, oh, I think oh, we forgot. We forgot, we forgot one. Okay, okay, okay. Do your ears point up? Do you have a lot of luck Oh, girl, you dig. Can you do an Irish jig? If you answered yes, yes. You're, you're a leprechaun, I guess. Okay. okay. You have it. Yeah, should I we think sing so. It? Mm -hmm. Should we sing it? Sing it. Sing yes, we it. should, Jeannie. Can we start okay, singing? Okay. And a one, and a two, and a one, two, three. Do, do your ears point up? Do you have a lot of luck? For gold, you dig. Can you do an Irish jig? If you answered yes, you're a leprechaun, I guess. Okay, do you have it now? I don't. You don't? No. Jamie. We should always make room for our slow friends. So we should teach you one more time, and then we're going to try and speed it up a bit. Okay. Okay. Do your ears point up? Do you have a lot of luck? For gold you dig, can you do an Irish jig? If you answered yes, you're a leprechaun, I guess. Okay. I think I have it. You think you have More it? More confidence, yes. More confidence. So we can speed it up a little tiny bit. Okay. okay. And a one, and a two, and a one, two, three. Do your ears point up? Do you have a lot of luck? Oh, gold you dig, can you do an Irish jig? If you answered yes, you're a leprechaun, I guess. See? 
faster, yes. And I won. Guys, and I'll win. It, are you going to win? Is this a competition? a competition? Then I'm going to win. And I won. And a two. And a one, two, three. Do your yes, ears point yes. up? Do you have a lot no, of guys, luck wait. for? You're too fast. We, we I counted no. it down. We went too slow. That was the right we went tempo. To slow. <laughs> went to medium. Now we are at fast medium. No, let's start over, guys. She's too fast. Okay. And, and a one, one, and a two, and a one, two, three. Do, do your ears point up? Do you have a lot of luck for a goldie dick? Can you do an Irish dick? If you answered yes, yes you're, you're a leprechaun, I guess. One. Now, no, no, that's not how you count when you go fast. And a one, and a two, and a one, two, three. Do your, your ears point up? Do you have a lot of luck for a goldie dick? Can you do an Irish dick? If you answered yes, you're a leprechaun, I guess. I won. Guys, leprechauns are very short. But I won though. And Ginny is shorter than I am, so... <laughs> She's we a are leprechaun, the same guess. height. <laughs> I'm a leprechaun, I guess. Yes. She has pointy ears too. You have Something pointy ears. Something is fishy, guys. Did you know that leprechauns are actually fairies? Really? Yeah. A green fairy. A fairy. It's not okay. green. A leprechaun is not green. A leprechaun is green. A leprechaun wears green. Guys, a leprechaun is green. A leprechaun is green. <laughs> but let's not argue on activities because we love one another. We love one another. Yes. <laughs> but friends, that is it from us today. We will see you guys again tomorrow. Bye. Bye.